Hello, it's Sarah. I'm working on a clay project again today, guys. I'm going to cover this Altoid tin. I've already done the top. I shared this in a previous video, but I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom um, with you on this. I don't know if I actually shared that on a previous video, but anyway, it's very similar to how I did the um, paper mache boxes. So I'm just using white glue. And I'm going to apply some onto this as an Altoid tin, you know, that you can get your mints in. Just regular old, that's actually Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Um, it's very, mine's kind of old and I don't even think they package it the same way anymore. Um, just take that. And I've already rolled out a little bit of black clay. I think it's like around a number seven on my pasta machine. I'm not too worried about, oops, it's got little, you know, I pick up things with it, but I'm going to texturize it, so I'm not really super um, worried about it. And I'm just going to evenly kind of, you should press the bubbles out as you go, so start in the middle and just walk your way to the edge in case any air gets stuck under there. See, there's one right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, let me see. I'm going to pick it up. And this side is kind of right where I want it to be. But I am going to need to trim. So I'm going to take my X-Acto bleed. And there's a little metal lip. So I'm going to press it up to that and then just stick my blade in the clay and run it along and then hopefully up oh, that was really off so I have to press it now up to that didn't do such a good job there I guess I um my hand came down but because it's not baked yet and I'm kind of pressing out some of the texture that I put on the top as well but I will um, you can always add more texture so I'm just kinda trimming a little bit off um, I'm gonna do a heart on this box and I'm gonna cut around the hinge so that it has room to move like when it opens and closes after it's baked. Um, let's fold up this side. I'm going to need to kind of bevel the edge but I'll cross it over a little. It's a little fumbly but um, it works pretty well. I am not a perfectionist in this part of it. I'll get a little more um, fussy when it comes to the design that I do, but this part is just kind of get it as good as you can, you know, you don't have to, and plus, I mean, I'm not going up for an award. I'm just doing it because it's fun, and, it, and it's not that complicated, so don't get, like, this can actually well, that wasn't good, but see, you can always push it together. And as long as we're covering the surface, you can push out all those lines, the connection lines. So I'm going to cut this off. Should still be trying not to get... Um, bubbles but oops now say but I'll just patch it I'm just being hasty because that's my mo and uh, so you just take your time and do your best don't worry about it so much and it'll get there it's pretty easy these Altoid tins really make it easy because they have that lip on the tin of metal that you can just run your exacto blade right along it 
and voila. So I'm going to, let me do this off camera and get it nice and I'll be right back. All right, I've already decided what the design is going to be, I hope. I didn't really want to fudge around too much with the design because it takes so long, but I want to texturize the bottom. I do feel like there's a, a bubble. So I just make a little slit and then put, try to push it out. I'm not too worried. I haven't actually really had a, an issue when it comes to that when I bake. I have these little stamps, letter stamps, Studio J. I think you get these at like uh, AC, AC Moore. And I'm just going to put my name S A R A in the clay. That's a little wonky, but I kind of like that. I know you can't see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to use two different stamps. I have this kind of flourish heart stamp, so I'm just going to use that to kind of just make some texture, little swirls and stuff. Not really worried about the bottom very much, but you know, I want it to kind of blend in. I'm going to go move to the side. I'm not really using the whole stamp, just that one little area with that flourishy part, which I think will be fine. And then I have another stamp that um, just has hearts that I use in mixed media a lot. So I'm going to put a few of those. I don't know how they'll, how they'll last because, like I said, I'm going to be working on this. Try not to give too much pressure and just hope for the best but it's just little heart texture here and there. That's the front. And then I may do some type of, um, the front looks pretty good. I've been playing around already with a d the design, so I got a little red stuck on there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna move over a little. I could move my camera. Let me just move my camera. There we go. I just moved the tripod over because it seems like yeah, this is the center of my desk, kind of right in front of me. Um, I was going to say, oh, I'm going to put a heart, some wings, but I'm going to put clouds uh, kind of like this. I found this little tin that I had, in it, and I did a similar background because it was just a mixed media background. So I'm not really doing steampunk. And see, it's an Altoid tin. This actually might not be an, a true Altoid tin. I might have bought this at... Um, Michaels or something, but I'm going to do similar uh, background. I want to put clouds just similar to this too. I was kind of inspired by this alterations die, but then I saw that and I thought I really wanted to add some bling elements. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, let's see, let me move this out of the way for a sec. I'm going to put it on a piece of um, wax paper and just set it aside. I've already cut my heart. I cut it with a cookie cutter shape, but then I, oh, I also stamped it with my favorite stamp. This is like a breast cancer awareness stamp. It's by Inka Dinka Do. I don't know the name of it, and I know a lot of people have asked me about it, but just use what you have. This is the heart shape. I embedded some words, and then I just kind of tweaked the cleavage a little bit. I made it a little deeper. Um, not putting that on yet, so I'm going to set that aside. I have these wings. These are available at Hobby Lobby. They come in silver and gold. I've used them in plenty of other projects. Um, I've used them for little angel ornament things. I've put them in um, corks. Anywho, I cut it with my Tim Holtz scissors, and I'm going to use those, and I have a little crown that I'm going to use, and also the word love, which was a charm, 
and you can see where I broke off the little uh, bail, I guess it's called, or the loop that holds the charm. Put that on there. I was thinking about a lot of different things I could do, but I figured <clears throat> that works for me. That's enough. And um, my hand, I just noticed I have the black clay is kind of on me. I think I probably had glue on my finger. I do. And I don't have any. Let's see if these baby wipes. Oh, yay. I have some. Anywho, um, I decided to just go with a lot more of a background with the bling and all that stuff and kind of keep the the uh, metal that I'm going to put on the heart and all that, the details on the heart, kind of keep it minimal. I don't want to um, overdo. It's hard because I love to keep adding and adding and adding. But anywho, let's... Uh, so what I'm going to do is take my um, straight edge blade. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. When I start doing detail stuff, I'll zoom in again. I'm going to take my straight edge which is here I just want to move some stuff away I might I'm gonna put um, oh yeah I'll show you that so let me just cut a straight edge ish so that when I put this I'm gonna overlap it it's pretty thin oh, I want to use that all right so what I'm gonna do is overlap and cut a little cloud shape, but I want to embed one of these little mirrors. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do one up and one down. I have a tiny one that I could do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put this here, press a little bit, and then I'm going to cut it away. Now I've already glued the black clay down to the top of the Altoid tints and it's been a couple days so I'm not sure what this is going to do but I do want the mirror to be flush with the clay so I'm going to remove that it looks like I'll be able to get it get the clay to come up yep and look the the um it looks like the glue is still wet but I'm going to put this in its place embed that in the clay. I'm going to do the same thing with this little one. I'm debating. Yes, I am going to do it. Uh, yeah, okay. And now it's all about design, guys. So I get really um, a lot more particular when it comes to this because I want it to look right. I'm just going to pop it up and try to get this clay out. I think that uh, it'll the glue will glue, will dry when I bake it. So it just stayed. I guess I could put a little bit more glue underneath. But I'm going to take this white clay and I might just huh. I'm gonna do it I'm gonna eyeball it so I need at least some to go down so I'm gonna go like this and see what happens Hopefully I'll, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't eyeball it good enough because I need it to go, I mean, I want it to go all the way down the side, I think, so I'll do it again. Um, Maybe I should, it's hard to know. I could use this one on the top though. I think I'm going to go like this. Make, I 
and just put it on there. Because it's going to be over the heart. Now here's the thing. I'm going to cut little holes in and, and make... Um, Okay, I like that. I'm going to leave it because the heart is going to cover, oop, not necessarily, because I don't love the shape right here. I got to do it again. So it's a little fudgy. I'm going to cut holes in the clay and make like more texture so all right i like that now i'm gonna i'm just gonna run this through the pasta machine again because i just felt like it wasn't oops i got a little piece of black on there bottom and the side and maybe I don't know how to, how I'm gonna know I must have figured it out the last time I did this but I don't remember what I did so I need it to be And so I'm going to go bigger than, okay, so I'm going to go up here that must be able to fit. Nope. For some reason I'm just not getting the the eyeball of it. I want it to be enough over here. Well, you know what? I can always add that after the fact. So I'll do it. I'm going to just do it like this. And what I'm saying is I'll add a little strip that's going to um, go along there. Because I like that it hangs down. I think that looks cool. So I'll add a strip All right, so I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but you will. You'll get the gist. So now there's mirror under here, and there's mirror under here. And I'm going to do some texture, more texture. You'll see. And little, so similar to this, I'm going to put bling, and I'm going to make holes like that so that you can see the mirror shine through. I don't know if I'll do as many as on the dragon one. All right. I just feel like I need to use this area. And how long does it need to be? I don't know. So I'm just kind of connecting the clay. It's not really working here. Okay, there we go. And then I have to do
really gently because I want to um, find the lip again. Isn't that nice though? Oops, see I came out of the... Alright. And then I'm just going to kind of... That's, that's glue. Just gently press it. And the more you go like this, you can smooth that line together. I wish I could have done it um, in one piece though, obviously. So try to do it in one piece and it'll, it'll just look neater. But I'm going to texturize it and everything. It'll be great. Oops, just folded it, which I didn't mean to do. And then there's like a lump here because I definitely had double layered of clay. All right, I think I did it. It was, it was a little more fudgy than I'd hoped. But I like it. All right, so I'm going to use, these are called etch and pearl tools. I'm going to put a little bit of texture on them too. Let me get my clay out of here. What kind of texture should I use? Um, I like these words. I think I'm going to put some words. It's just cool. It's, you know, mixed media. All right, good enough. And I'm going to use my etch and pearl tool. There's three different sizes of these, and I think what they're meant for is to make like a little pearl-shaped piece of clay. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to use the biggest first, and just kind of hope for the best. Hope, hopefully I was over top of the, yay! <laughs> I'm going to do a medium, because I can't really see where the mirror is, and do a medium right next to it. Oop, see how it came right out? And maybe if I could get it out of there, it would be a, a pearl shape. See? I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to just make a mark in the medium because I will fill that. So let me go over here and see if I can... Yay, I did it again. I'm going to go to the smallest now. I don't know if I'm still over the mirror. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wanted it to be a little more um, detailed of a cut. I have a blister. Uh, I mean, it's not really a blister. I had a blister. I'm sorry. That kind of looks nasty, but um, I like to let it get air. And then I'm going to make some more marks. Um, maybe I'll try one more over here, but I don't know. I think I'm off. Uh, I think I'm on clay. So I'm going to leave that one in there. We'll put a little bling in there. So this is looking kind of crooked because only because of the words were crooked. So I'm going to go a little straighter with my words. They're crooked, whatever. Um, all right, so now what I want to do too is I'm going to use my ball tool and just take a piece of the white, the this is white pearl, and fill the hole with this, the little crater with a little ball of clay, and push it back in. It's just a way to, I don't know. This is what um, Mandarin Moon does. Can't think of her name. I can just use this. But I'm definitely going to uh, put some bling. This is just a little thick over there. In some of these. So I have 
red, which I love, but I think I'll put a couple of them on the heart, but I have these like Aurora Borealis little tiny ones, so I'm going to use a couple of them. And just hopefully like really, and I also have a few bigger ones too, but I'm going to put... And just use this little ball tool to really kind of gently, because they get wonky. Um, see, I have these bigger ones, so I'll do a bigger one right here. I got these at Hobby Lobby, the bigger ones. I know for sure that. The smaller ones, I don't remember. So, they would probably tend to be glass because if I'm embedding it and then baking it I want it to be oops see how I slid off of it and I just put it in a little crooked I'm just trying to straighten it out anywho um Swarovski crystals are great I'm going to put one more little one over here because they're glass Swarovski's a good quality um, crystal. Oh dear. So you just have to be careful. I could use my fingers. So for right now, what else should I do? You could make um, like smaller holes like this. And this is just texture. It's not a big deal. It's just part of the design for me. Okay. Now, I think I'm ready to add, I'm going to lay my wings down. I like them to be a certain way. I like my wings to be up like this. And so, I think I'm going to use this, it's not Bacon Bond, this is translucent liquid. Um, it's a bakeable transfer and color medium, so it's not even... It seems to have worked for what I it's oh use as a clay glue oh good okay good well I just you know I'm gonna get this even it can go out a little more this is just me eyeballing you see my heart Um, yep, I think that's going to be good. I'm going to just put a mark and put a mark and then look at it. Yeah, that's centered. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on the wing underneath here for sure. Um, maybe on the clay too. I don't like that it like, but I could stick it into the clay more, but I'm just going to lay it because that will be on top. We'll hope for the best. Look, it's not like, you know, it's not a million dollars worth of effort here. It's just me having fun. So I kind of put it on the wing this time, but I want to like make sure they're even kind of covered up a lot of that um, cloud, but that's why I wanted to do it first. Eh, they don't look perfectly straight, but that's okay. Um, now comes the heart. So I'm definitely going to put this, a little bit of this on the back. Not a ton. Because the clay will stick to the cl clay pretty good. I want it to be fairly straight and centered. Um, I could go up a tiny because I'm going to put this crown up there. So I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and press it down. I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back. Joe's in Washington, so I wanted to get that. Um, all right, so it's a little high. It's fine, but I want to embed this love as well. And I'm not sure if I want to tilt it. I kind of might tilt it because I'm going to put this crown. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of the, oops, take the lid off, on the back of the crown. And push that down. Hopefully it'll adhere, it'll stay. And I do, I kind of like it wonky. I'm going to, I don't, I could do it straight, but I kind of, oopsie, I like it wonky. And this has a little bit of texture on the back of it, which might help to grip the clay a little too. It's like a ribbed surface back there. Oopsie. Okay. So I am going to put it a little off kilter. I like it. Push. I'm going to give it real good embedded. And I'm going to go over it with this and just pick up some of that clay. So far, so good. Now I also have some of these rivets. I really like them in my steampunk ones and I was thinking I could add a couple of those. I have the high polished gold ones and the more bronzy, I don't know what color that is, but let's see. I'm just gonna place them for texture and see what I think of that. And I have these really pretty red really 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 pretty red I think I want to put a few of these as well I have this heart shape metal finding but I don't think I'm going to use it I mean I could but I don't know and I have this little key let me come back in sorry I know I'm so far away I have this little heart key that I like too but I don't think I need it. I don't want to overdo. It kind of looks silly just, you know, a key in the middle of space <laughs> with the heart. So I think I'm going to go with this. I kind of like these red blings. I'm going to put um, maybe one right there. I'm just putting these on here to, for, to look at it first and see what what's what this is looking a little oops this is a little smaller than that one and you know there's a, a thingy of threes three is a big deal when you do um, when you create so one two three of those I have four of these so maybe I'll take this one off and do oopsie I don't know if I'm gonna keep this heart so I'll take the heart off and put this and this and I can always do more texture like this I mean I think I want to be done because I don't want to get crazy and spoil it you know because I tend to get a little aggressive when I have all this pretty neat stuff that I want to play with and I don't want to overdo it so let me I'm just gonna look up into the camera I think I like the rivets but I could also just put bling so I don't know if I need them Ugh, so hard to decide well let me take them off and then see I think I need them I think I like them I'm gonna go with it I'm going to go with it and I might put one more bling here and I, I think I have a little one that I can put over here and why not see how hard it is to stop me it's so hard to stop me but I like it um, I was also thinking that I am going to do it. So I'm going to embed these, which they might not stay. Remember how I had to, oops, because it's not 
the clay isn't quite as thick as these. They stick up a little bit. Oh, I had to glue um, the rivet things, these are called eyelets, into the uh, other ones too. I like that though, so I'm going to gently, I'm going to use a um, pencil eraser because it's flat and it really does a nice job of embedding. I should have done that with the other ones too. And even this. Did I get them all? Oh, I have one on there. I can leave it on there. Um, I feel like I want I don't know, I kind of like it. I could do more, I got to do mica powders, but I could do more to my heart, but I just don't know what more to do. I could overlap with clay. I could also do something around here. On this one, I just did a white strip like that, which I do like to tie it in. I think I could do just maybe embed white little, I think I'm going to do that. Um, see this one I embedded bling, but I think I'm going to do, so I need to roll out, um, I could put the key here maybe. That's kind of cute. But what do I need it for? I just like it. It's like a handle. I might I might put that there. I gotta put a little sculpey. And then embed this. Um and then I'm going to take my big ball tool and I'm really going down to the tin. So that that's might be a little aggressive and I'm just going to use the white clay and roll a snake and make little balls. And maybe I will put a bling though cuz the bling looks pretty. Do you like it? I like it. I gotta do something with mica powders. You know what stinks is I don't have a red mica powder. So I think I'll have to do like, ugh, that's gonna be tricky. Oh, all right, what am I doing? So I just need little balls of clay. This might be too small. See, if you don't roll out a snake that's uniform in size, and I just got a bunch of black on that one, then your little balls will be all not uniform. So it's smart to roll out a ball, I mean, I'm sorry, a snake of clay that's uniform size so that these little balls of clay, I'm trying to eyeball them, I'm not doing very good, um, will be more consistent. You don't have to work as hard that way. And then I'm just going to take this and kind of press it into the hole. Um, I like that. I don't know that I needed that, but I like it. All right, so let me, I'm going to pause on that. I'll go around the whole thing, but I want to see what kind of mica powders I could do. Um, Jen Jen, are you in here with me? She's my friend. Where the heck are they? Um, you know what I did get is, um, pan pastels. I haven't used them at all, but I do have red. I don't think that's going to be what I want to do. I want it to be shimmery. So that's why I like the mica powders because they definitely are shimmery. Um, so I'm going to use those, but I just can't find them because my desk is full of stuff and I, so I'll be right back. I found it. 
All right, I'm just going to run some red through my pasta machine and um, see what the white, or actually the, ugh, the white pearl looks like on here. Um... Just put a little something on there. I like it. I think I'll use the white. I could go, I mean, I could put pink. Pink might actually look good. And I have this other color called blue russet. Let me see. Or like bronze, but I, I really like the red. Let's see. I'll try a few colors. Um, I want to find that blue russet because it's definitely a reddish color. This one. See, it says blue russet, but it's like it's kind of like a reddish color. But maybe when you look at it, it's got like it just looks pink. I kind of I'm gonna do white because. Then it'll blend in with the, um, I'm just going to put white on the, um, I keep saying, um, on the clouds and on the heart. And I think I already pushed some of the, um, I keep saying, um, some of the dimension or the, um, details out of the heart because I was, I did the sides, I'll show you. So I just put those dots all the way around. I do like the bling a lot. Um, all right, let me just do this. I think it's gonna look good. You, sh you can still definitely tell that the heart is red. So that's a big thing. I like that a lot happy with it very happy with it and if I want to get a little bit in there or closer in here I just don't want to go into the words because then they'll disappear am I in the shot oh I could go in more I'm sorry guys but it looks really good I'm very happy with that so I'm going to do, I'll do some on the clouds too, even though this is pearlescent, white pearl I should say, or whatever, I think it might add a little more pearliness to it, I don't know, if I compare. Now. I kind of regret not using blue for the back for the sky because it's a blue sky but I'm going to use blue mica powder now it's just a matter of deciding what color because see look how good the blue looks like I did it with scrap clay and did a couple different colors of blue and then I put the different accents in the different colors I just really like it I think that would look cool but for this, I'm just going to do it with a blue mica powder. And I have a couple. I have this one called Blue Raspberry. This one's called Tr Sky Blue, which I didn't love. I'm not going to do that one. I didn't love that. This is called True Blue, I believe. No, Turquoise. I didn't love the wet, that color of blue on this one. This is the Sky Blue. And it's just too faint. I like this one better. This one I think was the true blue. So I think I might do that, but let me see what turquoise looks like. This is turquoise. That's super dark. That might have been what I used. And then what else do I have? I have this one, this is called, oh, this is sky blue. I'm pretty sure I have one more that's called True Blue. <clears throat> These are called Inca, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. These are called Pearl X powders and I got them in sets and so you get, 
This one's called True Blue. You get a couple different colors in each set, and I don't remember, because I take them right out of the... Ooh, I like the True Blue the best. That's pretty. All right, let's go. So, I think... I'm going to try it with my finger because I don't want it to go down in all the nooks and crannies, but hope, we'll hope for the best. So I have plenty in the lid right now. It's just hard because I can't get around everything, so I'll do that with the brush. I'll go closer with the brush, but I can definitely do the sides. I didn't really want to hit the white. Oh Lord, where's my phone? Sorry guys. I guess my iPad rings too when my phone rings. Isn't technology interesting? It's interesting. So we gave Maya an iPhone. My husband upgraded to the other iPhone, so he gave her his old iPhone. We went and got her, she's 11, we went and got her a strap so that it would fit her and stuff, but um, she actually figured out how to call us from the iPhone. I don't know how, from the iWatch. I'm, I'm sorry, have I been saying phone? Because I mean watch. Okay, so we both have iWatches, we all have iWatches, and... We tried giving it to my son James. He didn't. He just isn't a watch guy, so he didn't wear it. So she's like, can I have it? So we gave it to her. Went and got her a little watch band and everything. Her mom said it's okay, so she's good. And she flipping called us the other day. She's like, I'm on my watch. I don't know what it is. I think it's you have to push FaceTime or something. But man, if she didn't figure it out. Kids are amazingly, they're not afraid to just push buttons and see what happens, you know. So, yeah, we talked to her. And her, her parents knew. Um, so, she, um, we're just so proud of her. She, oh, oh, she's 11, but she's doing so good in school. Like, she reads to the kindergartners. She's in sixth grade. She's getting straight A's. She's amazing. We're so proud of her. She's doing so good. And, um, so yeah, so we're like, because I don't play with the things the way the kids do. Like, I don't even, I'm not on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and every other thing there is. Like, I just do Facebook and YouTube. That's basically it. I can't, I know a lot of people like Instagram because it's just pictures or something, but I figure I can do that on YouTube and I don't need to be involved in all that social media stuff. Like I have enough to contend with with just doing YouTube. I don't do that as it is. Um, I like to be in the moment. I don't want to be holding my phone my phone constantly you know so look so I totally did it or I like that better that is popping all right let me do up against the wings a little bit and around the uh, rivets they make me nervous because it seems like someone's here but it's the wind like Kirby barks at the wind she really does. She's so, like, alarmist. She's an alarmist. She's little. So, say I'm just taking the brush, and now I can stick that up against the cloud and where the rivets are. I like it. I'm pretty happy, guys. So that wasn't too bad. Now I'm going to bake it and hope for the best because, like, the wings don't look like they're very adhered, or you know what I mean. I don't know if that's correct English, proper English. They're not really stuck down too much. And I mean, I could put, I 
could put that right there. I kind of like that right there. I'm going to do it. Well, I don't know if it'll stick now because I definitely, once you've added uh, mica powders, it, you lose your adhesion as much. But I'm going to put this on and I'm going to bake it. All right. So I'll come back in a minute when it's baked. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. It's all baked. I love it. I have my name on there. And, you know, there is one other technique you could do. Um, I have to glue the um, the little... I'll do that off camera. I got to glue these uh, eyelets in. But I could antique it. And I thought about that by putting the black paint on here. It might make... It would change it so much though because I really love the red showing through and the black would go in those nooks and crannies so it would change it and the black would be in the writing of the um, you know on the clouds so I don't know um, but yeah I'm just seeing if anything else needs to be glued like everything stayed on pretty good I'm very happy with the this stuff this is called Sculpey translucent liquid Sculpey they said it says you can use it as a um, a glue as well so I mean my little edges here I could probably clean them up a little bit like there's some glue sticking out but all in all I think it turned out pretty good maybe a little loosening up around the hinges but it's it's working pretty good I like it I don't know I might have to um antique it I'm not sure all right you guys but that's it how quick was that that was easy thanks for watching